A godlike voice needs a godlike microphone. That's why you need the Mod Mic Wireless. The Mod Mic Wireless is a studio quality microphone without any of the pesky wires. With Aptex low latency, five times faster than Bluetooth, a 12 hour battery, as well as in use charging, this microphone is truly divine. It sounds so good. We've recorded this entire video with it. The ModMic Wireless features two unique modes, a noise-canceling microphone which rejects background audio and a broadcast mode for a rich, full, deep sound. The wireless design and quick mute button allow you to take a breather when things don't go your way. Good shot. With the ModMic Wireless, you can truly sound like yourself. Welcome everyone to Get Your Game On, the channel dedicated to immersive gaming experiences. So things might look a little different today. You may notice I'm not wearing a lapel mic. Instead, we're trying out the Antlion Audio wireless mod mic. And all the audio you're hearing is from this mod mic. And uh, I've been testing it for a few weeks now and I wanted to share my opinions. So the way I got this was Antlion Audio reached out to me after they saw my Quest 3 review where I said I wasn't really happy with the microphone quality on the Quest 3. And they asked me if I wanted to try one out. So they did send this to me completely free. But as you guys know, if you've watched the channel at all, that has absolutely nothing to do with my review. You still get my honest feelings on it. And in fact, uh, Antlion uh, Audio doesn't even get a chance to review this video ahead of time. They're going to see it at the same time you see it. So I said yes, send it over to me, and they did. And what was really interesting is back when I was uh, when I purchased my Vario Aero VR headset, those of you that watch the channel know that that thing came with basically earbuds and one of those cheap microphones that sat in the uh, cable. And and uh, I wasn't happy with that. So I actually looked at this a few years ago when I was looking for an audio solution for my Vario Aero. And back then I basically had uh, the Sennheiser headset that I absolutely loved. I used this for years. Uh, this thing was uh, basically what I used on the original Vive. And uh, one of the options I considered was using the mod mic and still using my old uh, audio headset from the good old days. So at the end of the day, I actually opted for the Corsair Virtuoso. I liked some of the features that it had. Uh, it also had the wireless capability on the audio, so I wouldn't have to use the 3.5 jack and things like that. So that was the direction I went, but I found it interesting because I had actually looked at this product for pretty significantly uh, back in those days. Okay, I do want to make a special note here. Obviously, this mic is designed to be mounted to the side. And so if you hear plosives, if you hear that popping sound, it's because I'm using the miking properly. It's not designed to be a handheld mic. It's designed to be mounted and off to the side of your mouth. And when I had that uh, on the headset or in the live stream, we never had any issues. So if you do hear any plosives during this, it's because I'm technically using this mic incorrectly. It shouldn't be sitting right in front of your mouth because that's where you get that popping noise from. So what do I think about this product? Well, let me tell you, I think it's pretty good. I was thoroughly impressed when I first got the packaging. The packaging for this mic is top tier and premium. So everything comes in this really nice case. Obviously it comes in a box and everything, but when you open the box, it has this really nice um, high-end case that can keep everything in it. It's zipper and all that stuff. And it, so it comes with the mod mic that you see here, and it comes with a charging cable. It comes with a extension cable and the USB, uh, base, basically the dongle that goes into the computer, uh, the wireless receiver that this talks to. And uh, so that's everything that comes with it. So right off the bat, I was going, okay, this is a quality company. I was thoroughly impressed with that. So the way that this works, it's pretty cool. Basically... You have, um, this is the obviously the transmitter, and it has three LEDs. So you can see on it right here, it's got the blue. So if the blue is solid, you know that 
the blue um, it's connected if it's flashing you have to pair it it does come paired from the factory but one of the issues I did have for some reason is every time I started my computer up for the day I did have to repair it oh, which is a process of pushing this button and pushing the button on the receiver and it worked so it wasn't really an issue um, it, but it, it did seem to lose the pairing every time I turned the computer on um, so you also have a mute button here and you can see that a red light comes up when I do that. So I'm going to hit it while I'm talking until I hit it again. So there's a mute button. And then the third LED here is a yellow LED that lets you know when uh, the battery is getting low. And then also it will uh, flash while it's charging when you plug it in and it'll go solid once it's fully charged. So since we're talking about the battery, let's go into that a little bit. Uh, the battery life on this thing is unbelievable. So I ran this on my live stream to test it out and it lasted the whole five hour live stream. And so I kept running it and kept running it. This microphone on a single charge ran for over 12 hours. I couldn't believe it. And that was on the whole time. Uh, it was reading audio the whole time. So it's a 12 hour plus battery life on this thing. And then once I plugged it in from being completely dead, uh, it charged in three hours. So outstanding performance on the battery uh, just really amazing thing so the other really cool thing on this I'm gonna turn this there's actually a switch um, it's right here so this switch actually changes the microphone from a omnidirectional which they recommend for your general use to a unidirectional mic and so I'm gonna flip that now and uh, you'll, you can hear what it sounds like so right now this is omni and we're gonna go to unidirectional and so now we're in the unidirectional mode and it was just the the flip of a switch here and this is unidirectional now on the live stream pretty much hands down everybody preferred the omnidirectional mode um, over the unidirectional mode that we're in now so I'm gonna go back to omnidirectional now and there you go so now we're back in omnidirectional but the thing I really like about having that switch right here on the uh, the boom mic itself is you know, as you know, one things I one of the things I've learned from testing this microphone is microphones are very hard to test because sitting here talking right now, I can't tell what the microphone's doing. I won't know until I go back and watch the recording. So that was an interesting experience. It's not like a VR headset where you can instantly see the difference. Um, so my hat goes off to all of you reviewers out there that test microphones on a regular basis. This was a lot more challenging than I expected it to be. So, but one of the things I like is with this switch and the ability to change this uh, omnidirectional and unidirectional is Theoretically, if you're gaming and you're in the headset, let's play you're, you're playing in the Quest 3, and people start telling you, man, you got a lot of background noise. Man, I can hear the TV in the background. I can hear your uh, kids running around. I can hear the dogs barking. In theory, you should be able to just reach up and flip that switch without even stopping, and it should alleviate some of that background noise. Um, and so I like the fact that you could actually on the fly change from the unidirectional and go, uh, you know, basically do some background noise cancellation. Now, we didn't test that because we don't have that loud of a <laughs> house. We don't have pets or anything. But in theory, that should work. And I think that's a really neat feature on this thing. All right, now let's talk about the receiver. The receiver actually is a pretty cool deal, too. It has the same LED lights that this has. So it has the blue one for connection, has the red one for when you're muted, and has the yellow one for when the battery's low. And what Antlion has done is they've actually added a um, extension cable. It's just a USB type A extension cable that you can plug into your port and then you can run that receiver up to where you can visually see it. You can put it in your line of sight. And that way when you hit a mute or something you can instantly see the status of the mod mic by looking at the receiver. And I just think that's a great addition and I think it's really awesome that mod mic included that in their kit. So let's talk a little bit now about using it for the Quest 3. So the way this attaches is pretty simple and it's pretty neat. So you can see I've got the Quest 3 and it basically uses a little nub. So it's kind of a, a little plastic nub. And all it is is it's magnetized and there's a magnet on the back of this. And all you do is you pop it on there. And so what's really cool is even though it's not a hinge, that magnet is strong enough that I can rotate the mic into into various positions let's see if this works better so i can rotate it and so if i'm playing and i've got the mic and i want to take a drink of water i can you know flip it up whatever i want to do get it out of my way and then pop it 
pop it back down. So um, the boom is obviously flexible. So I can basically bend it however I want. And you can get it you know, wherever you want it on your headset. So it works really well. Um, you know, basically however you want that to sit, move it away from your mouth to your mouth. It's just like any other boom mic. It's basically got a totally adjustable uh, boom on there. So you can see that's probably that's probably a little too close. <laughs> so you would you would want to adjust that. So, but I got it where I really liked it, um, and it worked really well. So it seems to uh, fit the bill for the Quest Three now. I did try it in a game, so I'm going to share that with you really quick. Um, I wanted to see how it would kind of uh, pair with like game sounds and how good it would be. So let's go over to the uh, virtual world and jump into the game Zero Caliber, and I'll share with you what it was like. All right, so here we are in Zero Caliber. It's a fun little shooter, and even though I'm playing alone, uh, I'm going to give out mic calls like I was in a squad playing a multiplayer server so you can get an idea of what this mod mic sounds like in an actual game. So, uh, all right, let's uh, lock and load, shall we? Basically, it's capture the flag. I need to get over to the other team and uh, see if I can get in their base before they kill me. So, let's go. All right, so contact tower. Contact tower far. Uh, let's see. Push up. Watch that tower. Should be getting some contacts over here. Get cover, cover, cover. All right, contact midfield. All right, now nah, I don't like that yellow. Let's change that sight. All right. Um, let's try some semi. It should be semi. Reloading. Contact. Contact far. Semi auto fire. That guy could have killed me at any point. All right. Let's see. Watch that tower. Run for it. Go, go, go. Run, run, run. Well, that was kind of a cluster. So as you can see, I'm not necessarily the best first-person shooter, but uh, uh, it was fun, and it gave me a good test in that, and hopefully you guys got a chance to hear what this sounded like in a game itself. So um, what I really like about this is not only the battery life, but also the range. So let's talk a little bit about the range of this mic. So... My Corsair Virtuoso, basically if I wear the headset and I go up my first set of stairs, I will lose signal when I reach the top of the stairs and it'll cut in and out depending on where I'm walking on the first floor, but it definitely uh, loses signal from time to time just one floor away. So for this, I tried the same experiment and I went up the first set of stairs and it was perfect. I went up my second st set of stairs and this thing didn't cut out until I reached the top of that second staircase. So this thing has easily twice the range of the Corsair Virtuoso. Very impressed with that. Um, the audio quality seems to be on par with the Virtuoso. Everybody in the live stream seemed to think that it sounded just fine. Uh, obviously you can make your own decisions here. And I just think this is a really good option for any of you out there that might have your favorite audio headset that doesn't have a microphone. I think this is a great choice. Um, or if you don't like the microphone of the Quest 3 or any other VR headset that you might uh, have access to, I think this is a good option for you to get that sound quality up on, on your audio comms. So there are a few things I don't like about the mic. And uh, one of the first things is it uses a micro USB port to charge. So micro USB is a little outdated, as you know. And I reached out to Antlion Audio, and they are fully aware of this. And they totally plan to uh, change that port when the next um, they do a revision of this, the new revision. So 
that's kind of where that's at. Um, the other thing that I don't like is the fact that you don't have any kind of lights here. So I'd love if they could on their next version have even just a small red light so you know when it's muted um, when, you know, when you have basically you've hit that button. It would be nice to have some feedback that you could see just like a lot of the other top tier mics have. So uh, that would be my other recommendation. And the biggest issue that I have using this for the Quest 3 is that this is only good for using it for PC VR. So because the actual receiver uh, plugs into the computer, I can't pair this mic directly to the Quest 3 for standalone experiences. So that's the one big thing that keeps me from really endorsing this for the Quest 3. If you're using your Quest 3 only for PC VR, it's gonna be fine. But once you go over to a standalone mode, this mic doesn't do anything anymore. You basically have to run it through a computer to get the audio to work. So if Antlion can get their next version of this mic to actually pair to the Quest 3 through Bluetooth or whatever, and so you could use it in standalone, I think that would be a home run. So I'd really like you guys to try to do that if you can. Um, but if you're only using it for PC VR, it works fine. It works great. The range is perfect. The audio quality is great. Um, and there is also the price to consider. So this microphone is not your cheapest option on the market by any means, but it is worth every penny in my opinion. This is a quality product with quality packaging and the price basically, uh, basically shows that. Now, Antlion Audio was gracious enough for my viewers. They are actually going to give you guys a 15% discount if you put in the code GYGO, that's G-Y-G-O, when you order directly from their website, you'll get 15% off. And that is not only on the, on the mic itself, but they also said on any accessories. So if this is something you're interested in, hopefully that'll save you a few bucks and uh, might help you make up your mind whether this is a good purchase or not. So hopefully that'll help out. Uh, appreciate you guys watching as always. And until next time, remember to get your game on.